Hello everybody, today's date is May the 3rd, 2021, and we have some more people in positions of power that are being held accountable. Now, I do want to say they're innocent until proven guilty, obviously, but I've got another report coming out of the Department of Justice on a DA investigator that has been indicted on drug and money laundering charges. Reported on Released on April 13th, 2021, out of the Department of Justice, the Southern District of Texas, it has been released that an investigator with the Waller County District Attorney's Office has been charged with attempting to possess with intent to distribute heroin, as well as attempting to launder drug proceeds, announced the acting U.S. Attorney, Jennifer Lowry. Authorities took Muhammad Ahmed, Alex Kasim, 46 years old, of Houston, into custody on April the 13th. He is expected to make his initial appearance before the U.S. Magistrate Judge Peter Bray at 2 p.m. on April the 14th. A Houston grand jury returned the three-count indictment on April the 7th, 2021. The indictment alleges Kazim was involved in laundering of what he believed was $200,000 in drug proceeds in August of 2019. If he is convicted of attempting to possess with intent to distribute heroin, Kazim faces up to life in prison as well as possible $10 million maximum fine. Upon conviction of either of the two counts of money laundering, he also faces up to 20 years of federal imprisonment. The money laundering charges also carry up to $500,000 fine or twice the value of the property involved in the transaction. The FBI conducted the investigation with the assistance of the Drug Enforcement Administration and Waller County District Attorney's Office. Assistant U.S. Attorneys Almandar, Almander Hamandi and Carolyn Furco are prosecuting the case. So I want to say once again, he is innocent until proven guilty because we absolutely do believe that. However, it goes back to the point that I was addressing when we were discussing the final four that were sentenced in the $189 million health care scam. Too many people today look at people in positions of quote-unquote authority and they see them as their authority over them. They see them as if they can do no wrong because they have a badge or they have a doctor's degree. And like I said earlier, everybody is human. You can have corruption, whether it is in the law enforcement or whether it is in the medical profession. And this is how, of course, we get tyranny. It is very nice to see, though, that uh, the Department of Justice is definitely starting to hold individuals accountable and um, I haven't heard anything out of the mainstream media for any of this that I have reported to you let me know if if you like these reports let me know if this is the type of thing that you want to hear about do you want to hear about the the things that the Department of Justice is doing mainstream media is not reporting on that most alternative media is not reporting on and they're not reporting on it because there's so much going on right now as you know that is within our union it's heartbreaking so we do need some positive information coming out and some of the positive information that's coming out is these individuals are finally finally starting to be held accountable some of these date back all the way to investigations that are 2017, 2016, the different uh, ones that I am finding. And finally, uh, the indictments are coming. This isn't stemming out of because Joe Biden is cracking down on anything or the Joe Biden administration is cracking down on anything. This was being done before Joe Biden ever took his uh, quote-unquote oath. So, I just wanted to give you a little bit of hope. There are indictments coming down, but I also would ask that with you knowing this, and even with the final four that were sentenced, 
right here in the $189 million healthcare fraud scam. Please stop, take a deep breath, realize these are individuals are not only our employees, but they are also human. They can be corrupted just as easy. Actually, it's more prevalent with them because of the excess of money. The love of money is the root of all evil. Now, let's pay attention because this is over here on the border state, Texas. Yeah, so that could be a good interesting uh, case to keep an eye on and see if possibly this had to do with some of the stuff coming across the border. So we'll keep an eye on that. I hope you have a blessed evening. And as always, watch your backs, check your facts. Semper Fidelis and have a wonderful evening.